it's Cass. Welcome back to my channel, What Cass Read. Today I'm going to bring you some of my five star TBR predictions for the year 2020. You can also see that we have a special guest in this video. Luna is going to be popping in and out. Um, she and I are hanging out all day today and I just can't lock her up when it's just me and her filming. So um, yeah, you hopefully don't mind. She's just going to be popping in and out, maybe chewing on her bone, maybe playing with a squeaky toy. I'm trying to keep her as well behaved as possible, um, but she does get a little bit antsy when I film. So ah, I, you know, like I just got done filming a video and I thought that I had had her like calm down, settle down, chewing on her bone. And then she must know when I'm starting a new video because then all of a sudden she popped up and had to stay. Okay, so let's get to it. Some of my five star TBR predictions for the year 2020. So the first book that I want to mention is The Blinding Knife written by Brent Weeks. This is book number two of the Lightbringer series. I finished um, The Black Prism, which is book number one toward the end of 2019. And it ended up being a five star read. I was so shocked at that book because it had one of the greatest like I don't know WTF moments in it where I thought I was reading one story and then we get this like big bomb dropped on us and then all of a sudden the whole thing changes and there were so many twists and turns that I had been told like buckle up because the whole series has more twists and turns. I've also been told by people who have continued on with this series that because The Black Prism was the first book you can definitely tell that he was Brent Weeks was able to grow as he continued to write this series so that's why I'm gonna I'm gonna like put it out there into the universe that I think I can get a five-star read out of the second book as well, especially the way that the first book surprised me. The next book that I want to mention, this is Winter of the Witch, written by Catherine Arden. This is book number three of the Winter Night Trilogy. This is also a book in my 2020 or 2019 Goodreads Reading Challenge that I have set for myself, where I'm reading all of the fantasy nominated books in the Goodreads Choice Awards. Yay. So I wanted to talk about this being the third book in the series. So I've only read the first book at this moment in time, which is The Bear and the Nightingale. That was a five star read. I'm planning on reading The Girl in the Tower this month because that was my YouTube poll pick for my January Wheel of TBR. Now I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about the second book, but I feel like the conclusion to the trilogy should be an easy five star, especially because I gave the first book a five star. I can't wait to see how Vasilisa grows throughout the series. Um, maybe our encounters with the like Winter King, um, maybe we'll get some more of that. I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm in store for, but I'm really hoping this will be a five star. Another five star TBR prediction, also a part of my favorite SFF female authors. This is The Dragon Republic, written by R.F. Kuang. So this is book number two in her, uh, oh gosh, I don't even know what the title of the series is. It can't be the Poppy War series. I'll, I'll figure out what the whole series is called. But um, I want to put it out there and say that this is going to be a five star read. When I read The Poppy War, it came into my life at a really great time because I was searching for really great own voices Asian fantasy. Poppy War was her debut, which I gave a four star. So I'm hoping with the second book that she's had more time, um, she's matured, and that's that's my hope. So. I really look forward to this installment. I got this um, this month for my birthday and I'm really hoping that it'll be a five star read. So this is The Dragon Republic written by R.F. Kuang. Now I have a science fiction pick. This is Children of Time written by Adrian Tchaikovsky. This is also um, part of my birthday book haul. This is a science fiction novel that I've been wanting to try for a very long time and I just feel like this year I want to stretch my wings. With science fiction last year I started delving more into science fiction but this year I also feel like is a good time to try some other stuff. So I really don't know what this book is about to be honest. I've just seen it in some really trusted booktubers of mine in some of their like lists of like favorite science fiction that they've read but also when people talk about this there's like I don't know something about spiders? I don't know, the way the way that they get like amped on this book makes me really excited. And I I feel like giving a science fiction book a shot at being one of my five star reads. So yes, I couldn't tell you much about this, just like pretty much any science fiction book out there. I have trust in those booktubers and then the amount of people who are really excited about this whole series 
makes me very excited and makes me hope for a five star read out of this book. This is a five star TBR mainstay I feel like. So this is The Republic of Thieves written by Scott Lynch. Um, Scott Lynch has like continuously made it to my five star TBR predictions videos so I might as well keep the train going with The Republic of Thieves. This is book number three of the Gentleman Bastard sequence and once I read this book I will officially be caught up on the Gentleman Bastard series and anxiously await The Thorn of Emberlane. This book follows Loch Lamora um, as as he is continuing on and struggling with his like continuous battle with the Bonds Magi. Within the first book, he pretty much declared war against the Bonds Magi. And then the second book, the Bonds Magi, Magi were really, really, really screwing with him. And then this book, we finally meet this like female character who used to be the love of Locke's life. She's been alluded to for two whole books now. With all of that build up for me personally, I have no reason not to think that this won't be a five star read. So I'm gonna put it out into the universe. The Republic of Thieves written by Scott Lynch will be a five star read for me in 2020. And oh boy, this is The Way of Kings written by Brandon Sanderson. This is book number one of the Stormlight Archive. This has been a long time TBR book of mine. This is a book that I have been steadily working my way toward. And we, uh, as soon as I posted my like most anticipated 2020 releases video. Of course, then Brandon Sanderson hopped on Twitter and said that Stormlight book number four will be released at the end of 2020 as well. So I have like all the more reason to want to pick this book up this year. I have read all of the like introductory starting point Cosmere books to this point. Um, that was my like personal goal to do all that before The Way of Kings. Because I like long fantasy, because I feel like this is like what all Sanderson fans, they say that is his masterpiece, um, I have no reason not to believe that this won't also be a five star read for me as well. So I guess we'll see whenever I pick this this book up, but this is a definite plan for 2020 to start on the Stormlight Archive. All right, there you have it. Those are six books that I hope to be five star reads for me. Um, and these are just books that I own because there's a couple books that I have that I am really anticipating like my two most uh, anticipated books for 2020. I just don't have them yet, so I didn't want to include them, but I'll give them a quick shout out. The first one being Hollow Pox, written by Jessica Townsend. That is my hands down most anticipated release for this year. Um, I really hope that that's going to be a five star read because I've just loved the whole series so far. The other shout out will be The Girl in the Stars, written by Mark Lawrence. It's a spin off series to the Book of the Ancestor trilogy, which I really, really love. So we've got that one coming up. I really hope that would be a five star star read. And then because I just finished Jade City, that was my first five star read of 2020. Um, I really am, I'm waiting to pick up Jade War. It's currently out now, but I'm waiting for the paperback release. When I pick that up, I also hope that will be a five star read. So those are just some quick shout outs that I don't currently own yet, but Again, I really hope that they'll be five star books. Follow along with me on my social media. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at WhatCastRed, the same as this channel, so it should be super easy for you to find. If you're new here, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and stick around for a while. Um, and then of course it helps my channel out. And then of course, you know how these videos end. I'll talk to you later. Bye.